making video games can feel kind of impossible when you first start out. I would know. I was just there like three weeks ago, but slowly but surely I began getting the hang of it. And if we fast forward to today, I have a game. That's not perfect, or really that fun, or visually appealing, or anything special. <laughs> Let me bring you back to the beginning. I've always loved tower defense games and have wanted to make one for the longest time, but if you look here, you'll probably be like, Chris, that's not a tower defense game. And to that I say, yes, sort of. You see, the idea behind this game is very simple, but I think it'll be easier to show you rather than telling you, so let me just... Okay, imagine this is the player. Now, the player is spawned in on an island and needs to make money to defend it because enemy ships are coming in to destroy it. The player makes money by shooting birds and deer and stuff, and can buy towers with that money. The only twist is that the enemies come from all over the island, so you need to be strategic about where you place your towers and stuff. Now that you know what I'm trying to go for, let's get started on the game. So, to make a game about protecting islands, we need an island. Originally, I went with a very bumpy terrain, but I switched this later on and I'll get to why later. Then I gave the player this gun I made in Blender, and followed a Bracky's tutorial to make it work. But what's the point of having a gun with nothing to shoot at? So the next thing I worked on were the birds and deers. The birds were fairly simple. All I had to do was make them move towards points in a list at a randomly generated speed, but the deer was a lot more complicated. I had to ask ChatGPT how to make these deer always stay on the ground, and uh, it didn't go too well at first. In the end, I decided it would be a lot easier if I would just make the terrain flatter which made the deer look like it was actually walking on the ground and not in it. The next thing I wanted to do was add in a currency, so I made a script that handled the player's coins and added a very crappy looking UI icon. I'll probably need to change that later. Okay, so now the next thing to do is make some enemies so that our island can actually start taking damage. Making the boats wasn't too bad. I modeled it in Blender and created more code that made it really simple to spawn in different waves of boats at one of the 18 spawn positions that are surrounding the island. But now if you play the game, you'll probably run into the slight issue that you can't defend yourself from the enemies. Don't worry, I fixed this by adding in the game's first tower, a minigun. The process was pretty simple. I made the 3D model, dragged it into Unity where I added two scripts. The first one made the minigun identify which boat was closest to it and marked it as the target and fired at it. The second one rotated the minigun toward that same target, giving us this little guy. Now, I had to give the player the ability to spawn in this minigun by making a placement system, which was another reason for me switching over to a flatter terrain object, because the minigun would get stuck into the bigger mountains, which wasn't ideal. I followed this tutorial here by Sunny Valley Studio, and it worked so well. So that was a relief, because there was zero chance I would be able to program any of this all by myself. Anyways, once that was done, I just charged the player money for each minigun they put down, and that was that. By this point in the video, some of you guys watching might be saying, that game looks horrible, and you're not wrong. So that's why I think it's time to add in some post-processing. I feel like the game looks so much better now, so that's nice. Now, that's basically all the game mechanics. So it's time to add to this. I hopped on into Blender and made a new boat model. This one is a lot smaller, which makes it faster, but it has less health and doesn't deal as much damage. I also made this cannon tower, which doesn't shoot as fast as the minigun but it deals more damage. I really like how it turned out. And I think I'm gonna make the cannon one of the starter towers in the game so that everyone will get it when they play, no matter their level. Remember when I said that all the game mechanics were done? Now, that's basically all the game mechanics. Well, I lied. Any good tower defense game has upgradable towers, and why should this game be any different? For the upgrades, I originally went with four different buttons, reload, fire speed, damage, and range. But this method didn't work too well, and I ran out of room on the menu to place other things that I wanted, like pricing and current stats and stuff. So I changed it over to this new menu, where you have one button that does a lot of things. It also shows the tower stats at the end of the game. I like it a lot more, but sometimes the towers get a bit too overpowered. And that's what I've been able to do over the last three weeks. I'm pretty happy with my progress, and I can't wait to keep working on this game. Let me know in the comments if you think I could have done more work in that time or not. I'll be trying my best to upload consistently until the game is finished. So if you like this video, then I guess you should stick around for those. So yeah, if you're still here, thanks for watching and have a nice day.